Okay, we start over again. The battery's died, so. Um, the inside of the window, uh, it's missing that little knob right there. Um, some of it's there. You can see it just needs a bolt or something, or maybe find one. You can see that I put larger washers on the inside of the door to hold because the original ones were too weak. Uh, the new rubber seal all the way around. Top to bottom, both sides. I put a checker plate sill in and where that little hole was, I put that in there. And then the inside. There's the curtains. They're the older ones. And then we got the drawer, cutlery drawer, and then inside the cabinet we got some cables and stuff in there. The sink is clean. We got a plug up here and a plug down there and then this has the wire that comes up from the down below and goes through inside the cabinet over to the light and then this one that way to that light which are on the ends of this one not underneath where they get all gupped up this one has a heat guard up here Okay, then we go to the support. It's in, nice and solid. It's a must to keep it there because that's what stops the roof from sagging. And then the upholstery. I don't know if you like it or not, but it it's it's clean. It's there. Curtains, and there's where I filled up where the extra holes were. There's the four spots in the front and in the back. That's the front I'm taking right now. And then the seams in the front are sealed there and across the ceiling. But then in the back I left them. If you want to tell then you probably have to do it yourself. And then we got a new table mount there. And I put both sides of it on. And the table and it's the original table and then the floor it's still got some glue in it but my emphysema won't allow me to put any more sealer that is what's left of some duct tape that was underneath the floor it can be taken off with the right amount of cleaners and it has a few holes in there which I never filled which held the carpet edging on there uh, held a brass edging um, inside of the fridge it's just the inside of the fridge it's got some marks in it and stuff but it works fine um, inside of the closet it's clean there's no shelves no nothing you can do whatever you want in there and then this cabinet I never removed this cabinet was never never removed and underneath I made new lids for all four of them the two in the back and the two in the front and that's just the original flooring left the original fiberglass floor and of course the bunk goes down to a to a bed or to a, a couch uh, I don't know what else I can show you guess that's about it oh the new door handle on the inside too so it's a whole new door mechanism and it shuts really good except for I better slam it oh I'm not gonna slam you have to actually latch it it seals up the only spot I'm worried about is the front little piece right there it sticks out just a bit but better than most uh, any more than that, I guess you're going to have to come and look at it, or, I don't know, whatever. 